Hi, welcome to Good Enough Painting. Today, I'm never leaving my companion behind again. Come here, Pancho. Come here. Uh, taking you on an adventure. Okay, let's get to it. All right, first thing I wanted to do was give my dog's icy blue eyes. I did this by combining a little bit of white and a little bit of emerald. Whenever I'm wanting to do eyes, I usually try to do them first instead of like an afterthought because it's hard to hit such a small area. And so you can paint over the surrounding area no problem, but after everything's painted, you nick the eyebrows or anything like that, then you have corrections to make. Alright, and for Poncho's fur pattern, I got out Ushakti Bone, Cork Brown, and Skag Brown, and Rhinox Hide. With those four, I combined them to a rough blend on my wet palette, and applying the darkest areas first, worked my way up. And for the little bit of red on his nose, I got out Vallejo's black red and just barely touched it on the nose. Alright, and since Poncho is the absolute goodest boy, I painted all his armor gold with silver trim. The gold that I'm using is actually bronze, but it's my favorite one to use as far as golds are concerned. It just comes off the best. It's Vallejo's model color bronze. For the wraps of the hammer that he has, I'm just going to be using a umber wash on that and then letting that settle and applying a second coat. Then mixing a tiny amount of black into some Vallejo silver, I dry brush to hit all the raised areas of the armor. I also applied this to the weapon. For the leathers and browns, I just used a combination of the brown that I had on my palette Nothing special there. Same thing I did with the dirt. All right, and for the wash stage, I put an all over wash, uh, watered down quite a bit of umber and black wash. I really didn't want to stain any of the Ushapti bone fur, so watered down was best here. And I made sure to wick away most of it from the face so that it wouldn't settle in his eyes. Alright, and after the wash dried, I went back in with the Shopty Bone and trued up the color a little bit on the most raised areas, so the top of the tail and the front of the face. Then I decided that the dry brush of silver wasn't enough. I wanted to edge highlight all the armor panels, so I took the time to do that. And this time it was just pure silver, no black mixed with silver. Alright, for the ground texture, I cut up a green tea bag and used some watered down PVA glue on the base. And then while it was still wet, I used a little bit more watered down PVA glue to move around the uh, ground cover just to where I wanted it. And finally, once all that PVA glue was dried up, I put down a layer of sepia wash on top just to bring it all into a uniform color. Hey, thanks for painting with me today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. My dog Poncho sure appreciates it. Hope to see you next time. And until then, you don't have to be perfect. Just good enough. Poncho, 
I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship.